Hello guys, in this video I'm going to show you Android Nougat 7.1.2 Yes, the latest Android Nougat version on our Galaxy J7 And uh, this is not the uh, stock OS, this is the custom OS called as uh, Liquid Dark OS And it's running on Android 7.1.2 Android Nougat And which is the latest one and it's called as Liquid Dark OS So let's start with the review of this ROM So this ROM is OMS compatible like OMS support is present in this ROM you can see uh, in this settings the substratum is installed okay here is the substratum app is present so OMS is OLA manager service which is uh, substratum supported so you can download substratum themes I will uh, download the substratum theme and tell you how to do it in the uh, like afterwards after giving the uh, review of this ROM so this ROM has a pixel like thing you can see and this is the dark theme I applied it okay the ROM is facing terrible battery issues so please do not use this as your daily driver you can use it so here are some common settings some configuration are present so here are some configurations you can have the Linux mode switcher, lock screen customization and more things are like UI customization like 3 finger gesture to have a screenshot but it's not like recommended because it is uh, really because all those things come in the screenshot and it sometimes moves it configurations okay these are the configurations of other things substratum support okay i already told you magic is not working so settings will force stop and then you get here buttons so these are the favorite our on screen navbar buttons you can use this thing hardware buttons or if you want on screen navbar buttons the hardware buttons will automatically be disabled and let's go and the status bar you can have some icon changing so these are some lineage os so same same things in here display you get the live display wallpapers theme theme i have shown you the dark theme sleep at our ambient display also is here and double tap on lock screen to put device to sleep yes working properly expanded and here display size you can change it to small i will prefer small because it looks good and you can have the default or some large thing okay smallest width you can directly apply the width sound here you can see notifications and alarm ringtones and possibly you can see it's very smooth and silky and see this uh, settings UI is so good and storage we get is like uh, in the 3.60 GB I have the ROM and everything installed so you can see 600 MB so 3 GB only is used and not the 600 MB so you will get 11 GB free here's memory free is 690 MB 681 MB is used gestures we get jump to camera like double as and camera and inbuilt the camera is not available to use because camera app is not there you need to just uh, flash this up I will give in description if you want to test the camera and uh, flashlight is turned on wow and now the flashlight is not turning off good like really the flashlight is not turning off okay let it be let the flashlight be here is something that will turn off the flashlight go to the buttons and here is long press power button for torch not working what what is this really i need to switch off the device now okay let me give this the review of this thing the liquid os so okay these are some things you can see while i was shooting this video and battery you can see is uh, draining too fast screen on is just uh, 14 minutes and you can see a good battery drain so guys shows memory everything as yes, i've showed you and the android version 7.1.2 also 
so now let's go to the installation of this ROM let's go to restart and recovery okay finally the torch is off so first step is to boot into recovery by using this three button if you are on a power off mode and if you directly want to boot you can boot it going to settings okay the brightness is already down first back up your uh, previous rom if you are on a previous rom you can back up everything select storage sd card or internal now go to wipe dalvik catch okay dalvik catch data and system just wipe this four things after this you will just need to go to install and okay main thing is that uh, the camera and all this stuff root access is also not inbuilt so you will need to flash the liquid the open g apps if you want but i will not suggest you the open g apps okay so i think okay the file is selected i will go again to install liquid add more zips the camera if you want to test the camera and the root access which is called as super seo so these three files i have selected to uh, install let this thing get installed let's see when it will get so i'm going to tell you this correct time of installation and everything and as one more thing i'm going to tell you that the reboot time is so less that i'm very happy the reboot time first reboot is very less but still i'm going to skip because there is no time i just want to study because uh, from day after tomorrow my exams are there but still reviews will be out there yes the google camera is now flashing <laughs> and then the super su will be flashed so why super su there is no inbuilt root when you can go to developer option there is no root access mode or everything and you cannot flash the lineage super su because this is another os liquid dark os and i love this os and everything the apps used in it the nova launcher is used great because of uh, the improvement in the speed and everything is good now battery life is only the problem all the lineage os bugs are present hotspot and everything are the bugs okay now everything is done just reboot the system so I will skip this. Let's see when it uh, does start. Okay, first you will face the boot loop, which I am going to tell you straight away. So this is the boot animation, and it will stuck here and boot loop only once. Yeah, see, it will only boot loop once. So please don't take any tension here. Okay, many users like tell they are boot looping, and and there is uh, no boot looping in here. So let this ROM boot up. I will tell you the substratum, how to use it, the final part of this video review. So I have signed in my Google account and let's go to Play Store. So now in this short clip, I'm going to tell you how to use substratum. Now this is OMS supported. So let's uh, type substratum. Okay, substratum theme. And here you can see many themes, the pixel UI which is already pleasant, present. So we'll not install it. So we'll install a theme, uh, okay, which one? Okay, here's a minimal, minimal theme. So and this will be good. So let's install it. And another thing is, one more theme I will install. Substratum DNA project. This is also looking good. The default dark galaxy evolution. Okay, I will test only one theme in this video. So you will test. Okay, you can test many themes. So just open the Substratum app and you can see MNML. Just select this and you know, select to toggle all overlays. And when you see these options, you can select primary color so yeah many colors i will select this okay sometimes it may mess up so select some light color only and accent color okay we this default okay another quest background dark gray or primary color 
so I will select dark grey ok so this is the quick settings background and these are the things which are going to be changed settings storage manager substrate um, system UI and now here is disable all themes build and enable build and update so build and enable so it's installing the overlay so when you have the OMS support you can get this but if you don't have OMS support on your device like other things and now it will automatically reboot or you will need to reboot your device so we'll need to reboot uh, into ok Re restart the device just and you can see the lineage OS ROM for the J7 do not have any OMS support so you should try this OMS themes like the Substratum theme on the J7 lineage OS ROM it will boot loop and I will tell you this will not boot loop so this is a live example here not live directly video example so you saw yeah I just uh, installed the theme ok now I think the theme has been uh, oh it's not applied why have I missed something it's going to substratum let's look into settings UI ok it's changed ok so we have selected the primary color uh, that is dark grey for this so settings UI is changed and you can see so these are only this some um, possibilities for this so settings is changed and what is changed is let's go to the phone okay the context UI and yeah this is the uh, blue colored so it was a uh, dark blue let's see the calculator it's normal let's again go and see what is changed Android system context of gallery settings you have seen ok so this has ok only in this thing only some of the parts are changed ok now you can see the gallery is also changed great so it's looking great now in some themes if you observe the themes are paid you can see many things change like the icons and everything so if you want uh, another video on about the substratum themes and substratum support you can uh, tell me below in the comments so if you like this video please press the like button and if you dislike it press the dislike button and also give me feedback down below and if you want a separate video on substratum themes and applying and how to do that please uh, post it down in the comment section and subscribe for more videos and comment for any help down below and bye and yes if you really appreciate this video please press the like button in the XDA developers forum also not uh, like not like button the thanks button so the developer will be appreciated goodbye and see you in the next video